In the Luigi's Mansion games I've played, have there been a lot of bosses and mid-bosses. So, today I will rank all the bosses depending on how difficult they are and tell you the techniques on how to defeat them. So, let's get into the video. Episode 1 Super easy to easy category. So we're starting on the super easy category and so the first ghost will be Morty, the movie director ghost from Luigi's Mansion 3. Basically you go into the studio after you've recorded the movie for him and flash him to be able to capture him. You cannot capture him until you have defeated the Godzilla boss which will come later in the video. The only thing that is creepy about him is the fact that he isn't scared of Luigi. The next ghost is Shambria from Luigi's Mansion 3. Basically she moves from room to room while have eaten the Ingad suitcase that contains Guigi. When defeated she will drop the suitcase. To defeat her you need to shoot a plunger at her and then smash her in the ground with the Poltergeist 5000. So next up on the list we have Crawler from Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, basically he's just a ghost version of Paul Blot from Mall Cop. And yeah, so he's going to roll around in the room, go through like a gate or something and then he will shoot water at Guigi and basically you have to just suck off his uh, glasses and then flash him and then kill him. And then the last ghost for the super easy section is Steward from Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, basically he's the first boss you ever fight in Luigi's Mansion 3 and Basically, he will throw luggage at you, and then th after he throws it, you flash him, and then you can suck him up, and then bang him in the ground, and that's the way how you defeat him. Okay, so moving on to the easy category, we have... First of all, the staircase boss from Luigi's Mansion 2. Um, yeah, so it's basically just a, a staircase possessed by a ghost and you just have to like pull the tail thing after it's like fallen down on the ground and then it, it releases this like ghost. And then you just have to do like a f multiple times but make sure to avoid the... Um, blue balls of flame things they shoot. Next up we have the orange poltergeist from Luigi's Mansion 2. Um, this is the first poltergeist you ever see in the game. Well it's in the mansion gloomy manor so that makes sense. Actually no it doesn't but basically he will throw books at you and you'll have, have to run around in the room to and flash all the time to try to find him and then if you find him and lower his health to zero basically he multiplies into two and then you have to defeat them and then you've defeated them. Next up we have Johnny Deepen from Luigi's Magic 3. Uh, basically he's just this trainer that shoot or throws volleyballs at you and you just have to like dodge these and then navigate your your way around the pool with Guigi by hiding behind obstacles as well and then you just have to lower the pool water level and then he's going to get stuck in the bottom and then you can eventually catch, capture him. Next up we have King McFright from Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, this guy is a knight and Basically, he's going to open these small ports in the wall and shoot arrows at you. And basically, you have to like wait until he pops his head out and flash him. Then you shoot him with a plunger and then you can smash him and then you can defeat him. And lastly, for the easy category, we have the three sisters from Luigi's Mansion 2. Um, these are just annoying. 
because the first time I tried to defeat them, I died. And it's just the way you have to like flash them when they take down the mirrors so they don't block their face anymore, then you can flash them. But it's annoying when they can also hit you at the same time. <laughs>